Introducing Chatterbox TTS Extended. If you are looking for a realistic voice cloning tool which can turn simple text to realistic speech with just 10 seconds of voice file to copy no other tool can do that better than Chatterbox. With this extended version you can type text or use file and add emotions to text to make it sound more realistic than ever. You can also convert your voice files to sound like anyone. And good thing is you can use this on Google Collab being a free user. If you are new to my YouTube channel subscribe it and press bell icon to stay updated. Watch my video on installation link is in description. Well let's see how you can use it on Google Collab. Click on collab link in my description to go to notebook page. If you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel subscribe it and if you face any issue message me on Instagram. For portable versions of all your favorite tool check out my Bime Coffee. To use notebook click on runtime and choose CPU if not selected then click save. This notebook only run on CPU on GPU having issues. Click on connect to connect with runtime. After connected run first installation cell. After first cell done running run second cell. When you see local and Gradio URL click on Gradio URL to launch Chatterbox Extended. To use this either type text you want to turn into speech or you can provide multiple text files to use. Only up to 10 second file is needed to clone a voice. Voice file should be clear for better result and in WAV format. You can generate audio into three different kind of formats choose one choose more will take a while to complete. Number of generations to 1 and number of candidates to 1 to. Choose Whisper Small Model since we are using it on CPU mood. You can try out other setting about adding emotions after done with settings click on Generate. For 17 second audio it took me about 14 minutes but result is amazing. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky, seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone, nine for mortal men doomed to die, one for the dark lord on his dark throne in the land of mortar where the shadows lie. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all and in the darkness bind them in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. Very impressive. Let's try a 5 minute text. Let's see how long it take and will Chatterbox be able to complete this.
result took me about 35 minutes for 1 minute 55 second audio. So that means we can generate long text to speech files with consistent result using Chatterbox Extended. I hope you like this video. If you got any question or request comment. In the end don't forget to listen to generated text to speech. Take care. Idol, the gate of Gog and Magog in the far reaches of the Caucasus Mountains, buried beneath rock and time, a gate lay forgotten. Dr. Elena Morozova, a world-famous archaeologist, and her team had been digging near an ancient pass. One day, they discovered something strange, a massive, sealed gate made of metal that shimmered blue in the sun. It didn't match any known civilization. Her assistant, Omar, turned pale. This, this is the gate of Duhornain, the one that holds back Gog and Magog. Elena raised an eyebrow. The myth? Giants sealed behind a wall? Omar nodded. Not just giants, forces of destruction. That night, the earth trembled, and the next morning, the gate had cracked. From inside, hot air blew out, carrying a deep, low hum like the breath of something very old and very alive. Days passed. Electronic devices failed near the gate. Animals ran from the mountains. People in nearby villages reported strange dreams of red eyes and fire. Then, one night, the gate opened. Inside the mountain, they found them. Two enormous figures curled in sleep. Their skin looked like scorched metal, their eyes glowing beneath shut lids. A quite human, not quite beast. Father Matthias, a priest who had joined the expedition, whispered, Gog and Magog still asleep, but not for long. As fear spread across the world, so did chaos. Wars broke out, violence increased. It was as if something was whispering into people's minds, urging them to destroy. Then came the truth. Gog and Magog weren't just creatures. They were reflections, symbols of humanity's darkest thoughts. They didn't rise on their own, we woke them. With hatred, with division, with fear. Elena realized something powerful. If mankind could awaken them, perhaps it could also put them back to sleep. She gathered leaders, scientists, and spiritual guides. Across the world, people joined in meditation, song, and peace rituals. And finally, after weeks of fear, silence. The shadows faded. Gog and Magog slept once more. The gate, now open, was never closed again. Instead, it became a monument, a reminder. Because the truth was clear, Gog and Magog live not in mountains, but in us. And only we decide whether they rise or rest.